Facebook's blue verification badge means Facebook has confirmed that the page or profile is the authentic presence of the public figure or brand it represents. This does two things. Number one, it gives your brand immediate credibility because people view the blue badge as a stamp of approval from Facebook to say, hey, this brand is legitimate. And number two, if you get a lot of scammers that make duplicate fake pages of your brand, trying to impersonate your brand, the blue badge will be an instant signal to people that your page is the real page. So how do you get verified on Facebook? Stick around to find out. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandy with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency with a mission to help small businesses grow. Today we're talking about how to get the blue badge on Facebook. But before we get started, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the business marketing videos that we put out every single week. All right, so first let's talk very quickly about Facebook badges. I know we just defined the blue verification badge, but some of you may be wondering about the old gray verification badge. Do you guys remember this? There was a gray badge that was a lot more attainable than the blue badge. And if a business had the gray badge, it meant that that business was confirmed as authentic by Facebook from an application that they had filled out prior. But Facebook did away with the gray badge a few years ago, which leaves us with the blue verification badge. So before we get into the verification process for it, let's first talk about the requirements you must meet to even be eligible for it. Your page must meet these five criteria. Number one, you must adhere to Facebook's terms of service and community standards, as well as have a profile photo, cover photo, and a page name that follows their guidelines. Number two, your page must be authentic, meaning it must represent a real person, registered business, or entity. Number three, your page must be complete, meaning it must be public and have a bio, profile picture, and at least one post. Your profile cannot contain add me links to other social media services. And number four, your page must be unique, meaning it must be the unique presence of the entity it represents. Generally, one account per entity may be verified with exceptions for language specific accounts. They said they don't verify general interest accounts like puppy memes, for example. And number five, your page must be notable, meaning it must represent a well-known, highly searched for individual, brand or entity. They review accounts that are featured in multiple news sources, and they said that they don't consider paid or promotional content as sources for review. Now, here are a couple other things to note that aren't necessarily requirements, but they are important to remember. Number one, if you provide false or misleading information during the verification process, Facebook has said they will remove your verified badge and may take additional action to delete your account. So don't do that. Number two, if your account represents a person, you'll need a copy of your official government issued photo identification, like a passport, driver's license, or national identification card to validate your request. And number three, if your account represents an organization, you'll need a copy of a phone or utility bill, a certificate of formation, articles of incorporation, or tax exemption documents. Number four, even if your Instagram account is verified and connected to your Facebook page, that does not mean that Facebook will automatically approve your Facebook verification application. And number five, you'll get the chance to include a few sentences explaining why the account should receive the verified badge and relevant URLs that help illustrate the account's notability, so take advantage of that. And on that note, let's go ahead and get into the application process and talk about how to get verified on Facebook. If you land on this Facebook for Business article, you can scroll down to where it says apply for a Facebook verification badge. From there, it will link to the form. You'll need to already be logged into Facebook when you get to this page so that you can select the page or profile you want to get verified. From there, you'll need to choose from their list of drop downs and prompts, selecting the choices that make the most sense for your business. Then down at the bottom, you have a few open-ended questions, including the option to send five links that show your page or profile is in the public interest. For instance, we put a link to our feature on CNBC's show The Profit, 
a link to our company profile showing that we made the 2020 Inc. 5000s list of the fastest growing companies worldwide, a link to our news feature on Cheddar, as well as a few articles we've been mentioned in, including Forbes. After you click send, you will land on a page like this. It basically turns your application submission into a support conversation in case you want to send anything else. So we'll see what they say. If they don't approve your verification, then you can reapply in 30 days. In the meantime, these are some tips Facebook gives about what you can do. Use the description in your page or accounts bio to tell visitors about who you are. Use stories to provide a behind the scenes look into your life. Encourage your followers to tag you so people can see you interacting with others. And lastly, link to your account from your official website, Instagram page, YouTube, or Twitter account. Now, one thing that they don't really talk about there is the importance of followers, or in this case, page likes. Your follower account, I believe, plays a part in how Facebook views your credibility and public presence. In other words, I think it helps to have a few. So one thing you can do is head to your Facebook ads manager and create a campaign specifically to increase your Facebook page likes. Just click engagement and then scroll down and click page likes. From there, you'll follow all the steps you normally would in setting up your ad campaign in the ad set and ad levels. But what choosing the page like campaign means is when you select your target audience, Facebook will specifically show your ad to people within that target audience who are the most likely to like your page based on what Facebook knows about them and their behavior patterns. So that's why Facebook page like campaigns are so effective. Sometimes when you hear people talking about paying for page likes, you think about people buying bots or fake followers by the thousands. That's frowned upon and that's not what we're suggesting here. Using the Facebook page like campaign is an effective and recommended way to grow your Facebook page likes. Like for instance, we drove 28,641 Facebook page likes for this client solely by using Facebook's page like campaign. The average cost per like was 14 cents, but certain ads were driving page likes at an even lower cost than that. And the likes are coming from a specific target audience that you selected, and it's still their option to click like and follow your page. All you're paying for is the extended reach to put the ad in front of them. So if you feel like you're doing everything else right in the verification process, but still getting rejected, that might be something you can try to strengthen your credibility in Facebook's eyes. Quick question for you. Have you already tried getting verified before? Comment yes if you've submitted your application and not yet if you haven't. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next episode.